Okay, so if you can't be bothered or don't have the time, you can just pause the video here and have a look at the cost breakdown of the entire renovation over like a three and a half, four month period. The left and the green is basically where to look. And on the right are just a few of those costs and trades where there are reoccurring costs or where it wasn't just a one-off payment. Under the builders group comes the carpentry and some other things like plastering, plumbing, floor polishing, etc. So that's why you won't see them noted on the left. And this is the final product of the house as of the start of May. So as you may have seen from the Google Doc, I spent just shy of 125 grand. Could I have spent less? Yes. Could I have spent more? Yes. I reckon I would have saved at least five grand, you know, doing a bunch of the DIY stuff myself. And having said that, I mean, the real credit should go to the other people that worked here because there's no way I could have done even half the stuff by myself. So the big ticket items, if you will, were the build and the trades covered under that. You know, that made up about 67,000. The joinery, 18,000. Exterior painting, 10,000. So, you know, that's about 80% of my spending there. The remaining 20% being made up of, you know, like fixtures and fittings, furnishing the place, electrical and so on. And again, just skip back to the start of the video to refer to the Google Doc where, I, you know, I recorded everything. I got these prints from a website called Desenio. So I wanted a few that had a bit of a Euro vibe to them. And I think they tie in pretty well with the fixtures and the black trims in the bathrooms. I'm hoping to get this room tenanted out pretty soon. Um, by the time this video is online, it'll be advertised for about 180 to 200 per week. And hopefully get someone in there shortly after. This is the office slash nursery, plant nursery that is, where I'm propagating some plants. Uh, it's growing a few muggles out there. Come to think of it, I wish I was kind of doing a house plan tour right now instead. Now uh, that's my scratch map. As you can see, I've got a lot to go, but God willing, I'm hoping to put a big dent in it next year. From there you walk through this little hallway into the master bedroom and walk-in robe and ensuite. So I got three of the bedrooms including the ensuite carpeted and that came to around 3000 I think. It's quite a vulnerable feeling putting your wardrobe out on the internet to see. <laughs> Please don't judge me. And yeah, the ensuite. I think for a bathroom, you can probably allocate around 10K per bathroom. At least that's what I found from my experience. So I recently had the, wow. <laughs> so I recently went through the exercise of having the house appraised and this gave me a better insight into what both this property and the new townhouse may be worth, which kind of exceeded my expectations a bit. And it's safe to assume that estimating conservatively that they'll both be worth around mid 500s. And again, that's conservatively. Um, ideally, when I come to sell the townhouse, high fives or even early sixes would be, would be ideal. And it'll be interesting to come back and watch this video once I've completed and, and sold it. So now that I've had a bit of time to live here and settle in, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, 
whether it's chucking a record player on in the morning or, you know, just chilling out and having a coffee in the courtyard or <laughs> relaxing in front of the fire. Um, it's just got this really welcoming feel to it, I guess. And everything works functionally. Um, even though it's a small, compact kitchen, it still performs well. And all the rooms have dimmer switches, which is perfect for, you know, obvious reasons. Like watching MasterChef without straining your eyes. <laughs> and in terms of progress with the townhouse, I'm um, inching forward. It's just planning, unfortunately, takes quite a long time, which is just the nature of the beast, I suppose. So I guess that's a wrap on 65 Bass Street for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the journey with me. And with that said, adios. Peace out. Au revoir. Catch you later and keep on trucking. Sorry, Tony, I think.